this is the fourth video in the series on using google sheet for stock analysis in this video i will demonstrate how to retrieve fundamentals of stocks from screeners website specifically i am going to retrieve market capitalization roce and roe percentages pe value book value and current price of stock from screeners website once this is done i am also going to highlight stocks based on our specified criteria this is what we will learn in this video let's get started so there are three steps for the solution step 1 is to form a dynamic url for each stock the second step is to retrieve values of the parameters in which we are interested from screeners website using that dynamic url and the third step is to do conditional formatting so that we can highlight stocks based on our criteria step 1 is to form a dynamic url for each stock let's open screeners website you can see this is screeners website now i am there's an example i am going to write wipro limited so i select this and on the top you'll see the url gets changed so this is basically this is the url of the web page where information about wipro stock is available so i just i just copy this url and now i come back to our google sheet now here let me first delete this so that you can understand how we can form the formula now i'm going to write a formula to create dynamic url here let me paste the copied url here and let me increase size of the url so that you can understand what i'm writing so here you can see we have wipro word now this wipro word part i am going to replace with the value of b5 cell so let me copy this formula in the c5 cell and here i am going to change this word with value of b5 because at b5 location name of the script is present so let me write b5 let me write b5 now we have to use string concatenation operator ampersand to concatenate cell value with hard coded values so in this way i can prepare dynamic url for each stock now i delete this once this is done the second step is to retrieve information about all these parameters so in this in this step i am going to use this dynamic url let me reduce the size of this now here i am going to write formula to retrieve market cap from screeners website now let's go back to screeners website and let me show you that where that in this information is available you can see here we are going to fetch this market cap we'll also fetch pe value roce percentage roe percentage book value 
and current price all these parameters we are going to fetch now to do that we are going to use formula called import xml so this import xml will take url of the web page where data is present and then we are going to write xpath query corresponding to the information in which we are interested so here as a url i am going to write this dynamically formed url i am going to freeze the column number now here i just write empty string so at that place i am going to write x path query for this market capitalization so again come back to this website and now here i want to find out x path expression for this so just select this right click on this select inspect so click on this now right hand side you will see the dome representation so here you can see that dome representation of complete html so i just right click on this now i go to copy and from here i am going to select copy full x path and now let's come back to google sheet and now here we are going to place that x path query value for that market capitalization and i'll hit the enter key it will take a while and it will load data so now you can see market cap for wipro is 350 694 and that you can also find on the screeners website now in the same way i can retrieve other parameters so let's see how to do it for say roe so again i'm going to use similar formula so again i'll write say import xml now my url is present here so let me lock it dollar c5 that's the url and at present I keep a path as empty and hit the enter key now let's find out x path expression for ROE percentage so again come back to this web page on screener that is for Wipro and now I'll select this ROE percentage again I perform the similar steps right click on this inspect on the right hand side we'll see dome element for that so right click on that go to copy and now you select copy full x path now you have to come back to our google sheet and we are going to place that expression in the second parameter so I write it and shortly you'll see value of roe gets loaded from screeners website so you can see it is matching with this value so in the same way we can retrieve all other parameters so i'll show you the formula that we have written for each so for roce you can see this is the x path expression so you can find out it in the same way same way you can see it for PE. So this is so this part is changing. You can keep focus on this, you'll get idea where it is changing. Same way for say book value and same way for current price. So now let me copy this formula for all the parameters for 
all other stocks so once i do that you'll see that values will be downloaded automatically from screeners website so you can find out all the values of the parameters in which we are interested now step 3 is to highlight stocks whose roe value is more than 15% so you can see here wipro has roe 19.6 same way in fi iex pfc bpcl and sechambal fertilizers all these stocks have roe value greater than 15% but other stocks for example tata steel roe is 10.8% Tata Motors is uh, negative and Reliance it is 7.97. So as an example, I want to pick up stocks whose ROE value is more than 15%. So let's see how to do that. So we select the complete range that to which I want to apply conditional formatting. I go to format, click on conditional formatting now here I already applied it so I'll show you how to do that so this is the range to which I'm going to apply this conditional formatting now from the format rules we have to select the last option that is custom formula is and as a formula we have to write equal sign and then the first cell reference that is f4 which contains our roe value and that is greater than or is equal to 15. so we write this as formula and from here you can pick up the color so you can see i picked up green color and just say done and now you can see all the stocks which are matching with the specified criteria will get highlighted automatically You can use this kind of analysis for your own stock analysis. Here is an example. I have fetched only few parameters, but you can see screener provide bunch of other parameters. So you can also retrieve. For example, we can retrieve the quarterly result. We can also retrieve data related to profit loss. We can also retrieve data from balance sheet, even cash flow data. We can also retrieve various ratios. We can even also retrieve shareholding patterns. Now you might think that why we go for using screener, why it's not possible to use Google Finance. So Google Finance has limitation. It provides very limited information. But this screener is a popular website which provides various information about stock. So we can retrieve data from screener and we can prepare our own analysis tool for our interest. Thanks for watching.